Welcome to the OBM Podcast. This is a platform where awareness, new perspectives, healing, and transparent conversations take place. Every mom has a motherhood journey that is unique, yet no mom is alone. So sit back, relax, open your minds, and steady your hearts to hear a mom's journey through motherhood. Hey, sister friends, welcome to the OBM Podcast. This is your host, Shanika, as you know. Today, we have an amazing guest. Her name is LaQuisha Green. Say, hey, LaQuisha. Hello. (laughs) We are so excited to hear her journey of motherhood. So before we get into that, I just want to hear, we want to hear who you are. So share a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is LaQuisha, and um, I'm a mother. I work from home um, with Humana. Um, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being free. <laughs> free. <laughs> so you enjoy cooking. What What is your favorite thing to cook? Oh, a lot. Um, I would say I like spaghetti. You like spaghetti? Yes, got to have that cheese, that little sauce on there. Yes, got to be just right. Yes, I love it. I do love spaghetti. My kids love spaghetti too. Awesome. So as you have shared who you are, we want you to kind of give us a snippet. You know what? Tell us it. All. Tell us all of it, girl. <laughs> You're about your journey of motherhood. My journey of motherhood. Um, it's a journey, still a journey. Um, mm-hmm. I would say it has been an adventure. Um, me being a mother, especially at a young age. I was 22 when I had my daughter, so I was in college mm-hmm. for like two months. And I wasn't expecting that, so it was like, okay, wait, oh, hold the brain. Like, oh, okay. Um, it when I had my daughter, it turned me into a woman, actually, mm. learning to be selfless and take care of a child. Yeah, awesome. Keep it, okay. So you have your daughter to share. Um, t- talk to us about your son. My son, he is five. I get the age mixed up. Yeah. Hey, it's all right. Two years apart. It's all right. <laughs> um, I have my son. Um, he is five. Um, they play well together. And mm-hmm. They are my joy. <laughs> my light. So awesome. How was their pregnancy? Like, I know you said you were pregnant with your daughter at twenty-two. How old were you when you had your son? I was twenty-five. You were twenty twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. How was, and I know, you know, sometimes the younger we are, uh, we're a little bit more spunk and kind of, it, it, it can be easier on our bodies is what I mean. How was the labor, how was the pregnancy for both of your kids? Pregnancy, it was a lot. I would say um, during birth, especially with my daughter, I did have preeclampsia okay. with her, so that's where your blood pressure is high during labor. Mm-hmm. I had that, um, but I recovered from that pretty quickly. Good, good, I was good. able to jump back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, but I will say with my son, now, when I was pregnant with him, um, I did have a threatened miscarriage mm-hmm. at 11 weeks. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I had to use the restroom, and I used the restroom, but it you know, it was it was blood, and I called nine one one. They came and got me, and at the time, my daughter was still a baby. So they came and evac took me to the hospital, and I'm just so grateful that God allowed me, my son, to still be here. Right. Um, but it was a scary experience. So throughout that, I kind of was more careful while I was pregnant till I had him. So you said you had a threatened miscarriage. What what did the doctor say happened? Um, when a nurse came into the room, she said it could have been a tear from your, uh, what is it, the uterus? Mm-hmm. Like a tear, a small tear. So okay. just put me on bed rest, and throughout that, I had a healthy pregnancy. But it was yeah. it was a scare. So yeah, I bet. Yes, I bet. I know that was that. I excuse me. I I can hear in your voice. It sounds like it was a little tough <laughs> to go through that because especially when it's a threatened threatened miscarriage, you you're waiting for the doctors to say something to say something so i'm glad that they were able to tell you that your 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 son still had a heartbeat and it was a threat it was a a false alarm yes um Mm -hmm. now we're talking about 
you being 22 and being 25, how was the support? Did you have support? Did you have um, resources? Talk to us about that. Um, yes, actually, um, I was in a program called Healthy Families. Okay. Um, in that program, they come do like home visits. Mm -hmm. and they will sit with you and they will go over like parenting skills, how to nurture the baby, if you need breast, help with breastfeeding. And it's like one-on-one -on -one parenting skills. Okay. So I did that with actually both my children. Awesome. How was... What did they do with you? Let me go back because I have so many questions about that because mm -hmm. I think that's a great resource. How did you get connected to that resource? Actually, um, through my doctor's office. Okay. Um, you know how they come in and they ask you all these questions? Yeah. So she asked, one of the questions were, um, are you a single parent? And I told her, yes. And um, she gave me the pamphlet. So I called the number on the pamphlet because um, I was alone at the time with pregnant. So... You know, I have all these questions, like, okay, yeah. what do I do? So I called the number, and they came and came out to my house, and they kind of introduced themselves, what the program offers, and et cetera. So they came to your house for a home visit. You didn't have to travel to them. No, at the time, I didn't have a car, so that, that really, really helped. <laughs> That's so convenient that they were able to come to wherever you were. So you had that, re you got that resource from your doctor? Yes. Based on the paperwork that you filled out. Yes. So is it, um, is it where they kind of call you? Is that what you said? They, the, the, you filled in your paperwork. Did you have to take it somewhere? I'm sorry if I missed that part. Um, no, you fill out the paperwork, um, you know, like the first visit. Yeah. And then they will send out your information. Then they'll give you a call. And if you're interested in the program, then they'll take it from there. So it's not something you have to do. No, no, it's a, it's voluntary. Right, right, right. It. So they kind of say, hey, and we have this for you. Are you interested in the program? And you just, you decided to say yes. Yes. Why did you say yes? Um, I'm glad I said yes because I needed it. I needed mm -hmm. that support. I needed that, especially as a first time mother, you don't know, you know, there's no manual of how to take care of a child. So mm -hmm. that was something that I needed. And I'm glad I did take that option because they don't tell them, you know, how I would. Yeah. yeah so you felt like that really helped you as a mom yes having them mom. as a resource yes what so you had um healthy families right yes you had that with your daughter and your son yes partially with my son. partially with yes. your son but with your daughter what did they what did healthy families do for you that made you feel did they make you feel like welcome did they make you feel loved like appreciated talk to me about what you got from them um, it was, like I said, they would a uh, home visit, so they would come in, um, they would share with me different lessons mm. um, during the pregnancy and then after the pregnancy. And uh, actually, they offer, um, like, I got a playpen, oh, nice. a couple of diapers, different resources of extra, you need extra little material for the baby. Mm. Um, also, um, how to prepare for the baby. Um, even with... Uh, SIDS, because I didn't know anything about mm. that. So learning how to pr properly put your baby in the crib mm -hmm. and to give you more research on it because we're not taught these things. We have to learn it. Right, right. Did it seem kind of overwhelming to yeah, get on yes, it? of course. <laughs> a lot. I'm like, oh, my, this is a lot of information. But it wasn't all the information at once. They'll do like a couple, couple visits, like maybe twice a month. Or it depends on the need of the parents. So if the parents right. need more help, then they'll come out maybe do weekly visits or a monthly visit. Wow, so is it, do they come out based on your request or what they feel like you need? I would say what was needed at the time. What did you need at that time? Did you have them come out weekly or monthly? Um, it was more, I wanna say twice a month. They twice would come a out, month. especially during the pregnancy stage mm. because you know, I'm a, I'm great, I'm a new mom. So it's like, okay, what do I expect? Mm -hmm. So they would come out and um, help with that. It kind of give you a release. Mm. relief and not be so stressed out because when you're stressed the baby's stressed exactly exactly so them coming to your house giving you resources and kind of helping in your in your a single mom raising this well getting ready yeah. to raise this precious baby so you felt with them they did you feel more prepared once she came absolutely yes were they with you in the hospital like did you, could, if you needed assistance in the hospital, did they, would they provide that person for you? Yes, at the time I, I didn't call them for that, but afterwards, um, once I was settled in, they actually um, 
came in and helped me breastfeed because at the time it didn't go well with me. That's all right. They ain't want to latch on. A baby is fed. A baby is fed. It's okay. They want that bottle to pop it in there. (laughs) But um, other than that, um, it's a really, really good program. Good, 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 good. So you said with your son, Mm -hmm. you had um, healthy families. You were in their program Mm -hmm. for a short period of time with him. Mm -hmm. Did they stop it? Did you stop it? How did that go? I, I stopped it. I think at the age of three, that's when they, they can stop it because um, you're, you're not. I want to say advanced. You can never be an advanced parent, just learning in every situation. But right. You have the skills now to move on to the next stage. Okay. So was it like a graduation? Yes, yes, actually. Oh, that's a good part. Oh, yes. yay. So when she turned three, they had a little graduation ceremony for her at a local. I want to say it was at a rec center. Um, I took her there. We took pictures and everything, mm. and then she graduated from there. Yay! So. Did what? So they they she graduated from there. What did what did what was it for you? Did you also graduate, or was it mainly about her at that point? Mainly about it was other parents there as well. And they were sharing their story and how it helped them, and they overcame different things they had to go through. But it was mainly about her. She actually had a little graduation hat, a little gown. A cute little, oh, like yay. she was in high school or something. It was nice. really cute. So cute. Mm-hmm. And congratu- And I sh- I'm sure they congratulated you too mm-hmm. um, because you made it through as well a program because I, I, how do you feel like you it would have been without having healthy families? Um, I would say it would have been, I wouldn't know how to handle stress in a, mm. in a good way um, and not be so overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. You know, because you have to take it step by step. Right. You, know, you have to do things small. If you need a little breather, go in the room and close the door and come back out and do it again. So I believe it's if you need it help, it's there for you and it, it helps you to release some of the extra stress because we all need we all need help, we all need support. The stress reliever. So when you say that it helps you to manage your stress more, did they uh, provide a therapist would they have would they have provided a therapist or a counselor for you um i believe so but i didn't need at the time they would anything i had to deal with um i kind of talked to them about it mm-hmm. and they kind of reassured me that okay things would be great you know because when you're you know, like i said when you're stressed the baby's stressed so the more you focus on motherhood and getting preparing yourself for the baby then and having that extra support you're allowed to um you know, not be so over overwhelmed, <laughs> overwhelmed yeah. with everything because yeah. I'm sure being a single mom, you were, and did you kind of expect to be a single mom at that point? Um, yes. When I was with her father, um, we broke up when I was, I want to say about four or five months. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, but during that process, I learned to heal and prepare for this child that's going to be born into, you know, this situation so yeah it was a blessing it yeah a for blessing. sure for sure and the same thing with your son mm-hmm. did you realize that you were going to because they have the same father or different they have they have different fathers they have different fathers mm-hmm. so with your sons that did you expect to be a single mom of two as well no but things didn't work out but we're able to co-parent in okay. a healthy way so Good. i can have my little weekends with my daughter or to myself and he's able to get him, so we kind of switch off weeks. That's so. So good. that's that's so healthy. I <laughs> bet. Healthy. I bet. I bet. I know you're glad about that part too. Mm-hmm. Having healthy families, um, having a healthy co-parenting situation, I'm sure that was. I'm sure that was a reason why you are the parent you are today. Mm-hmm. Um, with all the resources that they provided to you. I'm glad that you were able to get in, get the resources from. I'm glad that Healthy Families partnered with your doctor um, to make sure that they were able to get those patients that were that needed a little more support. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that they were able to give you that survey. Do you know if that survey that the, those questions are at all doctors, or do you know if that was just specifically for your doctor in your area? I believe it's everywhere. I believe it's nationwide. Yeah, that's awesome. So, moms, if you need that support, you know, that um, LaQuisha was able to get with her babies, even if you're, um, do you know if 
you have to be single or if there's certain qualifications that you have to have in order to get that assistance is that are there qualifications that you have to meet to get healthy families I believe in the questions um, it depends on how you answer the questions because mm-hmm. they do ask about are you they do ask if you're a single parent but they do ask are you experiencing any uh, depression. depression and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, I so remember that question. If you circle too. any question, yeah. anything, then it brings a concern and then they will, of course, ask you because it's voluntary. Do you want to sign up for this program? And it's, when you, I, I would say if you need the help, get, get the help because you never know what could happen where you're at at any stage of life and we all need support. We do. We do and they provided all the things. They didn't just provide you mental and emotional support they've mm-hmm. provided you physical support they gave you things mm-hmm. and i'm sure that was financially helpful yes. as well yeah. um do you ever feel like life would have been different without them i would say yes um not not able to prepare for uh, motherhood the right way you don't you can't there's no there's no right or wrong way but to have that extra extra support in a time because when you're pregnant you're emotional your emotions are all over the place so you kind of need stability and somewhere like coaching you mm-hmm. telling you okay it's okay you know you can make it through this right especially if, if you're going through a breakup or something you feel like you're all alone mm-hmm. you're not alone mm-hmm. you know of course we have God but yeah, you're not alone sure. and you need that extra that extra help and always <laughs> right for yeah. sure now now that you're a mom how old now that you're a mom of how old are the kids uh my daughter is seven, seven. and my son he's five five so now that you're a mother of a seven-year-old and a five-year-old do you see yourself um needing more support do you see yourself needing about the same support from healthy families or did you said they cut you off at three not yeah. cut you off not in a graceful way yes. the program <laughs> ends when the children let me say it in a better way the program ends when the children are three mm-hmm. do you see with your seven and five year old do you see things that they benefited from from you being in from all of you being in healthy families yes um I know one thing that I could bring out that I learned um, is how to control my emotions. Because when you're stressed out, kids are stressed. So when you're when you're yelling, they're yelling, and whatever I do, they will follow. So mm-hmm. I learned self control basically, mm-hmm. and not to if I'm upset, not to lash out, mm-hmm. but to just take a breather, one two three, and now they do it to me, mommy one two three. Remember? Really? Yeah, and it helped me and. Once I figured that out with my daughter, so the second time around, I kind of used those skills yeah. with my son. So they use those for themselves. Do you see them being able to handle their emotions um, or address how they feel as well? It depends on the day. It's all right. <laughs> it depends, it depends on, on, on all of our day. Yeah, it depends on the day. So, yeah, I believe um, having those skills and continuing learning, it helped them in a, it helped them in a way. Yeah. And it will continue to help them and. Maybe when they have their kids, they yeah. can learn from that. Share, share, share their share. information for sure. I know you shared takeaways that you had from having uh, healthy families. Are you connected to anybody? Um, are you connected to anybody that is still connected to healthy families? Like the parent, like the parent, are you connected to any of the parents that you have met? Any of the supports, uh, supporters that you had from healthy families? Are you connect? Uh, do you still feel a connection with them even years later after you've used their services? Um, because I had like three workers, so I would um, and they all kind of moved. Okay. Um, I would say yes. I know one of them. Okay. How is? Do you feel like she or he? Or did you work with females or only males? Uh. Females. Females. Do you feel like she still supports you even with the seven year even with the seven year old and the five year old? Um well, At, outside it doesn't have to be with healthy families, but outside of healthy families, do you feel like she still supports you? I don't know if I could, you know, call her and maybe have advice. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I'm able that you I'm I'm able. <laughs> I'm glad that you were able to pull 
that you're able to still be connected with someone yes. that is still connected to the program because even though having a seven and five year old you still can have those moments yes and you need those reminders mm -hmm. you know to encourage you and keep you pushing and going because sometimes we forget when things can get pretty stressful mm -hmm. so i'm glad you have somebody that's still connected with healthy families that can say hey laquisha remember this remember what you learned here remember what you learned there so i'm glad you have that even though that's not what that might not be what you guys talked about but you're you're able to build something outside of the resource that you get so that's really good now let's share anything that now you stated that you didn't expect to be a single mom how did that affect you as a parent I know you said you dealt with stress and you learned how to cope up uh, handle it better with healthy families but what did that do to you at first because I'm sure that most people most people don't expect to be single parents mm -hmm. but things happen uh, what what happened to you in that season of your life being a single parent I would say um... like what I mean by that is when you found out when you realized hey we're not gonna be doing this together this is just gonna be me and my kids or me and my child did something shift in your mind? Did you were you upset? Were you okay with the decision? Like, how did that go? You know, at first I was uh, I was upset, mm -hmm. but it wasn't so like anger or bitterness. It was more mm. like, okay, you know, I gotta do what I have to do. You know, my mom she was a single mother, so I watched how she raised us and she had four of us. So wow. I can throw all commands <laughs> and shakes for that because it is a lot. Yeah. Um, so walking into that, and not only walking into it once, but twice, you kind of have to prepare your mind for it, your mind, spirit, your mind, your body, everything for it, because it is a lot when it's just mm -hmm. you. And I do have help, like co-parent, but at the same time, it's majority of me. So I have to make sure that, you know, I'm good in the sense of not, not holding anything against anybody, but just doing things smoothly and peacefully mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. if you have peace your kids will have peace your home will be peaceful yeah but if you're upset then the whole house will shake the whole yeah. house will get upset so and they're watching me so everything even though i'm learning i'm learning from them actually yeah. so it's it's a lot but you yeah. have to take it in day by day and don't over stress yourself don't allow your circumstance say oh i'm always gonna be a single mom because things could change you yeah. never know so just you know, walk in your purpose and just whatever season you're in, just focus on that season. Just yeah. each day, make it make it worth it. Yeah. Because we're not promised tomorrow. Right. And you stated that you, you know, you learned how to like mentally like adjust to the change. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, when you say you had the resource of healthy families, is there anything else you did to help? I guess the word I would use is cope or uh, what's the Lord help me with the word what is the word um, um, I guess I'm, I'm because of the lack of words that I it just can't come to my mind right now <laughs> cope uh, what are some things that you did to help you cope with process that thank you Lord process uh, everything that was happening um, praying um, um, not Putting so much pressure on myself mm -hmm. and taking it step by step, mm -hmm. but actually praying. Um, yeah, I'm a Christian. Not allowing my circumstance to predict my future. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Is there was there ever a reason where you felt like I, I, I can't do this? I, I can't do. Oh, this. plenty of times. Yeah. How did you push yourself through? How did you not push yourself? How did you make it through that season? Um, not not um thinking thinking of the best for it and and not because you can't give it up is not an option i can't say oh i give up and i can't do this you have to keep pushing yourself it's almost like getting ready for for a battle you mm -hmm. have to go and you have to do this it's either you're in or out so mm -hmm. and as children i have two kids that's depending on me mm -hmm. so whatever emotions i feel however i feel they're going to have that same emotion so just taking it step by step and not putting so much pressure on yourself so I kind of press on that because we do put as moms yes we even do. 
not just being a single mom, you put a lot of pressure on yourself because yeah. you're like, okay, I got to do this. I got to be the best. Right. But just be you and just do what you can. Right. I, I, I think you made a, a great point. First of all, with praying, that that's the strongest, most powerful thing that we can do to help ourselves see our situation through a different lens. Yeah. And so kudos for you for, for doing that. You had the resource of healthy families. Now, when we say we had healthy families, did you feel like you had support from your own family? Um, in the beginning, no. But um, as time go on, my sister um, lives in the same city as me and my, and my mother as well. So that helps. And um, I do co-parent. So that, that because you need your breaks. Yes. You can't be superwoman. You yeah. super dad. <laughs> get a break when you can. Yeah. Get a break. Even if it's going in the bathroom. I was about to say, what do you do during your breaks? Like, do you? Oh, I go, you know, go get my toes done. You know, just do little girly things. Um, try to exercise when I can. But it's all right. Yeah, do just do things for myself. Yeah. Like, um, if it's just me and my daughter, I go do th do things with her. Yeah. So. That's good. But you got to take time out for yourself. Yeah, it's important. Then you become self-aware. Okay. And when you are having a moment, because we have moments. Mm -hmm. But I love that Healthy Families taught you how to recognize your stress. Mm -hmm. how to, And then how to handle it. Like, hey, you're, in, you're stressed right now. This is what you can do. So they provide, is that what they did? They provided things and ways yeah, for you to. Is. Awesome. Awesome. I am so thankful. That you were that first of all that you I want I want to say fight I want to use a different word that you conquered mm -hmm. this uh, situation with no did, did not knowing that you were going to be a single parent number mm -hmm. one conquering the situation of of saying you know what I'm gonna take the pressure off myself and I'm gonna get help from healthy families mm -hmm. and you know you put your pride aside because we can have that pride that's like yeah no I don't yeah, want no yeah. help I can do this mm -hmm. but you said I need help yeah I need help and that was such a commendable thing for you to do to say I need help and I'm going to get it for the sake of me and my children mm -hmm. and I'm glad that you had that um, that you were able to be truthful with yourself and I know it's not easy for us sometimes to say I need help it's not an easy thing especially if we were trained to depend on ourselves yeah, be independent, be independent. Mm -hmm. you know you don't need nobody and especially if we have that mindset but I'm thankful that you are able to kind of share your story of how you said no I need help and I'm yeah. going to get it from healthy families and that's really a commendable thing for you to do um, I'm so thankful that you came on our show today yes 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 to share that resource because getting out and getting assistance and reaching out for help you can ask your doctors mm -hmm. um you can ask friends social media is yeah big thing. The, a big thing mm -hmm. you know it can it can there's negativity so that's pros and cons to have yeah. social social media i'm gonna say that right now um but the thing that we are glad about is that it's very resourceful you can put a status say hey i'm looking for some assistance i need this and i need that people will start looking for you mm -hmm. so i'm glad that we're able to have certain resources uh, like doctors and friends and because you know somebody somebody knows somebody that can help you mm -hmm. so just speaking up for ourselves being self-aware and really putting that pride aside to say hey i'm okay with being a single mom it's not, it's not, it might not be like this always, yeah. but I'm going to embrace this season and I'm going to get help from people that I feel like I need help from. So thank you for sharing your story. We are so appreciative um, for you to do that for us, okay? Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys, thanks for joining us today. Check us next time for another episode of the OBM Podcast. Laquisha, you got any last words for the people? Yes, um, I would say, um, like she brought up, if you need help, get help you know humble yourself and don't allow you to take on extra stress you know why why you need stress when when there's help out there and just and be free and and always put yourself put yourself first and do things that you need to do for you yeah for sure there are moments where we have to consider other people 
But is this a moment where Lakeisha said, I'm going to put myself first? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm thankful. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the OBM Podcast. We look forward to you joining us next week to hear a story from a mom near you. So until we hear each other again, please be sure to take it easy, be blessed, and smile. Remember, you can enjoy life.